Welcome back everybody. As you can probably tell, we are not at home. I am on the road for something not related to the channel, but this story just broke today as of when I'm recording this, probably yesterday as of when I'm releasing this video. So for the title that you guys read, the ATF has shown up at people's houses who bought more than one firearms and is asking to inspect them. So before I get into the details, I'm gonna roll in the owner, or the homeowners rather, uh, ring camera footage that has been released so you guys can see it. And then after that, we're gonna come back here and discuss it. Sir? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's all, I'm, I'm all I'm doing is verifying that, look, verifying that you have it. You got two different purchases. Okay. If you have them, I'm out of here. That's how quick okay. it is. Yeah. You have them with you by any chance? Are they, if, you, get, if you can unload them and bring them out or you can go out to your foyer here, check them out, fight number, share number, and we're out of here. Like this? Yep. That's it, it'll take five seconds. The reason we're out here is we're obviously gun and violence has been an uptick, so we want to make sure we've been having a lot of issues with straw purchases. So one of the, one of the things we indicators that we get is somebody makes it a large gun purchase. Sure. And then a lot of times we've been there like, oh, those guns got took in. We're like, yeah, so, so the idea is when you purchase more than two guns at a time, it generates a, a multiple sale report. And he comes to us and we have to check him out. Okay. That's, that's all that is. He did nothing wrong. Okay. Did absolutely zero. Uh, I noticed that you were stopped in Philly though, right? With one of your guns? We'll wait. Do you feel more comfortable? Um, I'm okay. I just, I didn't expect uh Oh no, but listen, it just came up. I'm telling you, that's, that's why we, we came here. Look, it's a, there's an email from the from the federal right. side saying, hey, can you make sure this guy's got his gun? Now, okay. if you recently just purchased a whole bunch of guns, if we can look at them and just, I have them just scratch them off, and that way, because I know we don't so see this place again. Back. Yeah, we can just write which ones you just bought, okay. and we, so if we save a trip from coming back, we can just right. confirm that you have them. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go get them. Okay. Okay. We'll, we will wait <laughs> out here. Okay. We will stay out here. Okay. You can lock yourself in there. There's a little boy in there in my life. No, we'll oh, no, no. Listen, I understand. You, okay. We'll stay out here. No big deal. That's okay. fine. All right. We'll stay All right. out here. All right. Yeah, now that y'all have seen the footage, a few things I probably need to explain for newer folks out there. Uh, when you do buy more than one firearm at a time, it does generate a form which is sent to the ATF by your FFL. FFLs have absolutely no choice in this. They have to send it up. In fact, there's some FFLs that won't actually sell two firearms at one time specifically to not have to deal with this issue. Um, so additionally, this ATF agent claimed that there were seven different firearms that he was interested in looking at. Uh, number one, uh, were all seven on one purchase order? Probably not. So with that, he probably went to the FFL and went through, or if they did an electronic file, or went through those records, pulled this guy's name up, all the serial numbers, make and model of each firearm, and he had them in his hand, as you guys can see in that video. Now, the ATF, as I've discussed in several videos, claims they do not have a firearms database. However, it seems they certainly do, and it seems it was searchable by this agent to be able to pull this person's firearm information and have it with him when he knocked on the door. So there's that. Next, we have to talk about Fourth Amendment. This gentleman has a right to simply close the door, ask them to leave, never come back, exit his property uh, because obviously they're trespassing at this point and uh, he chose not to do so. That said, the agent, I believe there's two ATF agents and one Delaware state trooper. That's, that's my understanding anyway. Uh, none of them, of course, read him his Miranda rights. None of them said he was charged with anything because he wasn't. They were just on a fishing expedition. Now, why is the ATF able to do this? So. It all comes back to the Gun Control Act of 1968. That is when they put in the provision saying that if you bought two or more firearms uh, at one time, again, a report is sent to the ATF in the belief that it could lead to a straw purchase. Now, the Biden administration has recently said that what they're doing uh, as part of their FFL system reform is that they are going to be checking on folks who are purchasing two or more uh, firearms at a time in the I-95 corridor, Indiana, uh, Nevada, and several other states where they believe there's a lot of um, straw purchases going on. Now, if you look at where this gentleman lived, just look around the neighborhood, Not, I'm not saying that it can't happen there, but generally speaking, straw purchases happen for people in the hood. This guy appears to live in a decent neighborhood somewhere in rural Delaware, 
probably not the kind of place where you're going to see a lot of straw purchases. So it just goes to show, are the ATF agents looking for people who might not be fans of this administration? Possibly. It's certainly possible. Um, and then, of course, like I said earlier, uh, the ATF has no right at all to show up to their door. So if this happens to you, one of two things I would recommend doing, closing the door, telling them to go away, come back with a warrant. Although of course they probably won't get a warrant. And then uh, call it, tell them to wait, call an attorney, have them talk to your attorney on the phone if you want to go that far. But in the immediate, I would just close the door. Regardless, what this shows is what this administration is doing. Again, weaponizing their agencies to go after people they don't like. And this is just the latest example. There has been many. And uh, looking into the article that I linked down below where I learned this from, apparently the author of the article had called the ATF, the, the police department that the officer uh, belonged to, and none of them were willing to give a statement. Wonder why. Seems they're not so proud of what they're actually doing. Anyway, with that, guys, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you have subscribed and you aren't seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. If you've done that and you're still not seeing those videos, sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. This email goes out at most once a month and it has all the videos since the previous email. And that way, there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes from my content. If you like the deals and stuff like that that we post on various social media, uh, sign up for my daily deals email at the website that you see right here. Uh, it goes out every day and it has six or seven of the best deals on firearms, ammo, uh, accessories, all of those things. And if it's in that email, it's the cheapest that I know of anywhere on the internet on, on that given day, rather. Um, and that's all I have for you. Another unfortunate story about the ATF, ATFing, and uh, we will end the video there. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.